You are a developer. One beautiful morning, you start your work and suddenly you got a message from your client. It said, can you give mathematics support for our upcoming website project? You click on the email and it says, we are targeting students for this project. Make sure when they post a mathematics equation, the equation should be rendered properly. You said, okay, no problem. Then you open your favorite browser, not your Chrome, and search render match equation in a website. There are two main libraries for the task, MathJax and Katex. MathJax is like a big bulky elephant who support every text expression. Katex is lean and fast, but don't have that level of support for text. What is text? Text is a typesetting language, useful to write scientific papers. For example, if you want to write a fraction, you should use slash frac. If you want to add a multiplication symbol, use slash times or write slash sqrt for writing square root. The list is long but I think you got my point. Now let's come to the MathJax and Cartex library. The big fat elephant and the slim cute deer. We all know that apart from eating too much, elephant can swim, run, helping people to lift weight in the stone edge. But the deer is, he just eat grass and run very fast. Deer is not very useful to us, is it? Okay, I accept the example is not great, but you got the point. If you want a fast typesetting library, use Deer. I mean, Cutex. If you want a jack of all trade like library, which support every text expression, use MathJax. Got my point? Let's proceed. Now you open your project and paste the Cutex CDN links. You can also use the npm package but uh, I am lazy, then in a javascript file, run the cutex library when the page load is complete. You can customize the behavior of the library by editing these delimiters, these dollar symbols and all those you know, small and large brackets. But for me, it is fine. Now add any text syntax like writing an equation in your HTML document and the feature is ready.